Hey guys, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker, here with a thrift store video for you guys. So, I'm starting out today's video at the American Thrift, however, the first place I went for the day was the Goodwill. One of the Goodwills that you see here regularly. I didn't find anything there, so I decided uh, I'd just try coming down to the American Thrift, see what I could find. I do uh, start off here at the showcase, and uh, while we're kind of looking around, uh, please, if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe. The first thing I see here is this HP toner cartridge. It's expired, however, it is brand new. I'm going to guess I'm going to get about $40 for it shipped, so not too bad. Then go ahead and point out to her this Wii U sensor bar. I'll get 40 bucks for this shipped easily. I believe it had $8 on it, so not, not bad at all. And she goes ahead and puts that off to the side for me so I can look around the store. While doing so, I noticed that there's a Wii U controller. Now the Yoshi one doesn't sell for as much, unfortunately, as the Peach one. So this one's probably going to be around the $23, $25 range. So I am paying up at $6 on it, but I shouldn't have a hard time moving it. And I would go as far as to say I could probably list it a little higher right now and just sit on it to Christmas to get my accept, you know, acceptable margins for it. Um, after that, I go ahead over to the electronics area. This is a Brother Fax 775 Intellifax, and I've sold some of the newer ones of these before, and it, they sell so quick. You'll uh, throw it up on the screen how fast, uh, how many have been listed versus how many have been sold, and I test it the best I can. It gets past the please wait and all of that. I have no real way of testing out a fax machine at home as we don't have a landline or anything like that at our house so this is the best I can do I've never had a return on any of these so not too worried about it in the cart that goes that was six dollars so not a bad purchase there pretty happy with it actually and they sell super quick uh, the last two fax machines I've had uh, that were brothers uh, sold within uh, within days now I go ahead and pull these hokas down and they're beater hokas at three dollars however I've had no problem getting rid of uh, beater hokas I mean you don't get the 60 70 80 hundred dollars that some of these shoes go for but you can get a good 25 30 dollars shipped at three dollars I could throw this in a priority shoe box it'll probably cost eight bucks to ship I'll have plenty of room for profit on it and the beater hokas have always sold pretty decent for me, actually. So that's probably one of the only shoes. I'm not a huge like sneakerhead or anything like that, guys. But those are probably the only shoes that I'll purchase uh, that are that beat up, uh, that brand. This uh, dinosaur, it's the T-Rex, I guess, as I am a dinosaur expert. Um, <laughs> it's by Disney. It's hard to really look things up here. I probably should have purchased it just because it looked cool. I don't know if it works or not. I mean, I'd be buying that kind of... That'd be kind of the risk with it, I suppose. I don't know. I've even tried looking it up now. Feel free in the comments uh, down below to tell me I should have bought that. I'm not too worried about it. Even if it is worth some money, that's okay. I find a ton of stuff today. Um, I've been finding a ton of stuff lately, and I can't even really keep up with the listing as it is, so it's no big deal uh, to miss a thing or two. I go ahead and leave the American Thrift spending about 30 bucks, but it's good merchandise. Uh, not massive margins or anything, but it's stuff that will sell. And I go ahead and head on over to the Salvation Army and grab myself a cart here. They've done some changes here, so they moved the... Dre uh, Dressing rooms to closer by the door, and now the 50% off tag, there's only one 50% off, one 99 cent tag. There used to be two 50% off tags. I don't know if they're just kind of uh, experimenting with that. I occasionally will get things that are on tag sale here, but most of the time it's either good enough to buy right off the rip or not. Occasionally, I might wait on an item till it goes tag sale if it's priced a little too high and hope it's still there. And then make sure I'm there, like, you know, right when they open on tag switch day. 
but usually I'm buying at their full price because if it's good enough for me to buy, somebody else will pick it up. That Rome game was super fun, Rome Total War when that came out. Uh, I remember playing that while I was in the army and uh, had to pick it up, $2.99. It'll sell for about $13 shipped. I'll make a little bit on it. This is a Logitech C615. Um, I'll get about probably $30 boxed like that. I don't get this weather radio. It's just a little, I only like to spend like two or three bucks. They had like $5 on it. Um, the Logitech uh, webcam, I actually use a C920. And uh, I have that in the Amazon affiliate store thing. Uh, for my desk shots right now, I'm probably looking at upgrading, but uh, just so you know, that's what I'm using at the moment. The C615 is uh, probably pretty comparable, it looks like. Just probably less features and probably a little bit less clarity to it. Those wall clippers, unfortunately, were a no-go. So these are actually my sold comps of a used and a brand new one. I think I'll get in the middle here since it seems like it's only been used once or twice and it's boxed. So I'm guessing I'll get 50 to 60 up on this shipped, which isn't bad for $9.99 in. So I do go ahead and uh, put this in my cart. I put up my own sold comps there because I, I buy and sell these on a pretty regular basis. And occasionally people will be like, there's no way you're getting that on a rice and vegetable steamer. And I'm like, or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I actually do. And uh, the juice man here, this guy's brand new in box. I think they opened it just to verify content. So I guess it's open box now. It actually still has the cassette in there sealed and everything. So... For $14.99, that is one of the better buys of today. Totally happy with it. Here we have a Black & Decker lids off. These range wildly. They're saying that this one's unused, I guess. Um, I have to verify that still. I do grab it for $9.99. However, uh, the prices are kind of all over the place on them. But you know, if I get 50, 60 bucks out of this one, that would be excellent. I think there's a good chance of that. Having the box, even when it's pre-owned on some items, this matters so much on how much you'll actually get for it. They're saying it was never used. If it's actually the case and it is open box and that's it, then uh, I should do pretty well. So the Jack LaLanne's power juicer, this one's in excellent condition. So if it doesn't work for some reason, you can always part it out like I'm showing you on the screen. However, you can see like what a good condition versus a mediocre condition one is. You're, you're looking at like 90 versus 50. Regardless, I should be okay at 9.99. If these look really bad and you find one really cheap out in the wild, I would suggest just moving to parting it out because condition seems to be everything when it comes to that juicer. Just looking over the comps and stuff, like the beater versions of them, they're all scraped up and scratched. I don't even know if it's really worth doing with the shipping and everything, but then you can always part out certain, you know, the pieces of it, like the blade. You can part out everything of that juicer, honestly. Yeah, I think on it, like I love buying household countertop appliances like this. This is uh, definitely a pretty good score for me. I go ahead and head on over to the uh, corner here where the books are. We've been looking for something like cardio for the house. And I go ahead and get on this guy. I think it's only like for, uh, $14.99 here for um, this little elliptical. It's not very comfortable, honestly. So <laughs> I don't think it's gonna pass the test for me. And it feels a little shaky. So, I'm gonna end up passing. They do have this uh, Schwinn bike there. I thought that was pretty cool. They're asking $149.99. It looks like it's either new or close to it. And it's probably a good deal. 
I mean, I know the Schwinn brand isn't what it once was, but that's probably honestly just licensed out anyways for that exercise bike. Go ahead and move on out here. I saw these totes and they wanted $2.99 a piece and I was kind of thinking I could throw media in them or something. They're Rubbermaid, so they're pretty decent. I was kind of low on room on the cart there and also I was just thinking to myself, I have I don't know if these totes would really fit in the way we want to organize things. So I don't end up getting them, but it's not a bad deal. Saw this nativity scene. Unfortunately, the wise man here was missing his hands. And I think there was a missing hand there. Uh, uh, what was that? Mary? So yeah, unfortunately, wasn't able to pop on it for $14.99. That would be uh, tough for me anyways, but I, I've been doing pretty well in nativity scenes over the last year or so. I think, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to stock up on them before Christmas either. So I do go ahead and check out here and uh, I got a fair amount of stuff. My cart was pretty full. These are bigger items, but they're the kind of items that sell. So... You can't really complain about it. It's just great merchandise for the eBay store. Super happy I came in here. Um, over the last couple weeks or so, I haven't been hitting this one too hard. So it was nice to come back in here and fill the cart. As you can see, I uh, got the webcam there and these appliances. Overall, just pretty happy with my trip. Go ahead and uh, pay the lady there, and uh, I head on out. Now, this is always kind of the part that doesn't get shown, but like you're trying to lug all this stuff out. Um, they have like a breezeway like this where you have to navigate it. So figured I'd show my triumph over uh, gravity is somehow during this whole trip, I didn't really drop anything or break anything. So yay me. I go ahead and load up the car, which I've cleaned up the front of the car pretty well. Now I need to clean up the back part, so why I'm not really showing that off. It's so easy when you work in your vehicle to um, neglect keeping it clean. I've noticed that. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just went out to three different thrift stores today. I only showed two because I didn't find anything at the first one that I wanted to buy. I don't know, I think we found some pretty good stuff. I mean, that's kind of those bread and butter items. Most of the things I found today aren't like the rare, crazy, exciting stuff that a lot of resellers purely seek out. So, I mean, of course there's people that only want vintage video games and the rarer the better, and that's what they're out for. I see opportunity in a variety of categories and try and make the most out of my time while I'm out there by sourcing all kinds of things that people want. A lot of those kind of items are dead stock, so they just don't make them anymore. And if you want an Oster vegetable steamer, the 5711, I don't think you can go to the store and pick that up anymore. So naturally, eBay is going to be where you gravitate towards, and that's a niche that I like to fill. Those don't sell super quick, but they do sell. Uh, it might take a month or two, but you know, that's why you buy this stuff cheap. That's why when you're at thrift shops, you pass on it when it's priced a little too high or when you're at the flea market, you make sure that you negotiate and try and bring that cost down because what you're, you're not just making more profit by doing that. You're lowering your risk. What a lot of people don't really understand when it comes to like the negotiations that maybe I'll do in you know, prior videos. I don't really negotiate on smaller things at thrift shops or anything, at yard sales and flea markets. It makes sense to negotiate, bring down that product cost because it could take a while to sell some of this stuff, guys. And on top of that, when I say I sell something for 80 shipped, I mean, if it's a medium sized item, like one of those household goods that you see there, it's going to cost one, like, well, maybe like $12 to ship it. So you've got $12 there. You're going to pay probably another 12 roughly in eBay fees. This is just off the top of my head. Don't hold my feet to the fire in the math. 
there's a chance you're going to take a 10% offer. So you're already losing eight bucks there. Then on top of that, maybe you used promoted listings to get the initial interest. And if that's the case, you know, maybe you have one or 2% thrown out on your promoted listings. So there you are. There's another dollar or so or two. And it just starts to add up. And of course, then, you know, we all pay taxes at the end of the day. So, you know, you're going to have your pre-tax net then you know the government's going to want their cut of course (laughs) so you know there's a lot that goes into this there's your time there's the gas getting where you're going the mileage on your vehicle anyways i'm going on a tangent here i really appreciate everybody watching like seriously all of you guys like do you think i'm the best picker on earth i agree If you don't think I'm the best picker on earth, I disagree, (laughs) but thank you very much for watching. Uh, It really does mean the world. I I put a fair amount of work into these videos. Uh, Of course, like any content creator, I'm hoping to grow my channel, uh, do new things, expand my horizons, all of that. So thank you. Please, on your way out, hit the like button. Uh, If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It is uh, free. (laughs) And on top of that, uh, turn on the bell notification while you're at it. Follow me on Instagram. It's at ProPickerOhio. Intermittently, I get hooked on it and start posting to my story. And with that, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.